Welcome to the uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel. We're going to talk about uh, AI chatbots a little bit, and especially the uh, Bing AI that has uh, scared some, has surprised some, and has, um, you know, some people find it a little um, scary to see the direction it goes to and what it can actually answer. And there's been a lot of um, you know questions asked. There's been journalists that went online and started talking to the AI. Um, you you know one thing we gotta actually um, make sure to understand here is that um, there's AI and AI, and a lot of what the uh, chatbot has returned or returns in its um, conversations. You know, it's scooped up stuff from the internet. So it, it could actually come from a book. It could come from so many things. It, it can't be taken to the first degree. Um, when one of the journalists that I've seen has asked the Bing chat box to uh, talk and the chat box trying to tell him that his wife isn't correct and that, you know, uh, the uh, Bing AI says that it's actually in love with the uh, journalist and so on. You know, this is not first degree. The, the machine doesn't have feelings and doesn't understand feelings. It understands what it has, which is the vast resource of search. And it will return, you know, some questions, some answers with with things that you've seen maybe in books and so on. So it, you can't really, you're not talking to somebody. Um, it's not, you know, Terminator as Terminator uh, movies where a machine is totally autonomous and capable of adapting itself. It's much more of a machine that looks into the vast resource of what it it, it can find, tries to find a suitable answer to what you're asking so you know i think we're going a little far when some of the journalists say that it's totally scary and i think that uh, uh, we should uh, take a look into it a little more seriously so um some of you might have it and you can actually start it um, you see here that upper right corner to discover bing uh, which i have on the dev channel edge uh, it's not available on the uh, standard edge it does have when you click on it the uh, the AI chat bot which is uh, basically what you can uh, use and and you know play around with and ask questions so um, you know you can you you can ask things but it, they have limited a lot of what it can do now they've kind of um you know uh took the uh, chatbot ai and really you know first of all limited only to five requests per day they've limited its uh, reach of where and what it can do so it's not like it was um they, they kind of changed a lot of the things i think seeing how people were a little scared um microsoft realized that they had to back it off a little bit and and there was a lot of you know users tricking it into so many things um now not to say that in the future things are not going to be different there's different um, you know, technologies will evolve and, and the power of computing will evolve. And that will definitely make these things more accurate and capable of more, um, I'd say, you know, emotion-like responses and ways of behaving. Um, right now it's taking it through sentences it sees on the web and tries to match things quickly with whatever you're asking it uh, but you know for now it's not don't we, we have to for, stop taking it at the first degree um, it is still quite interesting to see as an experiment but it will be probably still years before we have something that is much more advanced 
Um, you know, so one journalist asked asked something, and you know, it actually gave it the wrong answer. Journalist answered back, "You're wrong," and then the Bing engine answered back that, "No, no, he was right," and that um, he owed Bing an apology. And you know, this is the the conversation, the start of a conversation that is, um, I don't think, very serious, and it should not be taken seriously. Uh, but at some point, it will become much more powerful, and there will be a need for you know guidance for the future for sure. Because if we start having machines that are capable of their own judgment, uh, you know we have to guide it into the right direction. Uh, definitely, you know we already have war machines that are made and intended to be killing machines. Uh, you know, we need to have really, really uh, good guidelines as we move on into these technologies. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching my videos.